Hello again, everyone, and uh, welcome back to this series in English 101 with me, Johannes. And uh, last time we talked about adjectives and adverbs, so today we are moving over to articles. Right here. And just a disclaimer again that this is not an in-depth course or anything like that. This is just a reminder to refresh what you already know. And as usual, below this video, you'll find a couple of sentences, just a small teeny exercise that you can use to see if you understood what this was all about. All right, let's get into it, shall we? Articles, and they're either definite or indefinite, and they're usually used before nouns. So, what does this mean? We have the uh, definite articles, the, or the, if, uh, depending on how you pronounce it, but this word, the, indicates uh, that the identity of the noun is known and is thus used to specify details. The person sitting next to me. Or I want you to put the keys on the table. We know what we're talking about here. It's not just any table, it's the one table. The one table that we're looking at. And it's not any keys, it's the keys. That, wait for it. I have right over here. And I want you to put them on the table that I have next to me, but not the, uh, next to the microphone, because that'll be bad. So, um, kind of easy. You've heard it. You use it all the time. This is how it works. When you know something, it's about the. Then we move on to the indefinite, a uh, or an. And we can start by looking at the description here that you see on this side here. Uh, it is used when the identity is unspecified, that we're really not entirely sure what's going on or what we're directing towards. So you use a before a consonant sound, and you use un before a vowel sound. So if we check here in the middle, we have two examples. We have a or a motorbike or I went to a or a party, depending on how you pronounce it. You don't say, uh, we, I'm getting back to it, but if you move over to un, you say, it took an hour. I heard that, uh, it's supposed to say they, but I heard that they caged an elephant. If you would try to switch it around here and instead just remove the N here and say, I heard that they caged a elephant. You kind of stutter, so you have to like add a break yourself because saying a elephant is weird. It's a bit awkward, but saying an elephant, then you give yourself that pause. So that's how it works. And if we compare it to the that we had before, then we can see that, well, it took an hour it's not the hour that it was supposed to take. It took an hour overall. It's a little bit more uncertain. And here I heard that they caged an elephant. It's not a specific one. It's not Dumbo or anything. It is one. It's just any elephant. I can't speak today. It is just any elephant. Same thing with this when we have a. There is a motorbike. Not a specific one. I don't know exactly which one it is. It is a motorbike. Same thing with party, as you can see as well. I went to a party. Not any specific party, but it was a party. I don't want to give any more information than that. So, there you have your articles, and that's how they work. Uh, again, check below the video. You'll find some uh, smaller exercises. Good luck, and I will see you next time, where we talk about... Genitive or ownage, how you own stuff. Perfect. 